This illustration deals with protection in accordance with NEC 525.20G as in gray. The purpose of this change is a revision, and the revision has been made to clarify that if you utilize non-conductive matting should be secured to in place uh, to the walkway surface to minimize tripping hazards. In addition, there are other approved cable protection methods such as uh, cable crossovers uh, that are also effective. This section now allows either uh, secured matting or an approved alternate method uh, would be acceptable uh, according to the acceptance uh, by the authority having a jurisdiction. Now let's kind of review uh, the uh, illustration and then notice if we review the ride showing the horses there. Uh, that's an amusement ride. It could be in a circus, a carnival, or whatever. And over to the right, you have a tent uh, for fo folks who dinner in and see different performances and what have you. But notice the people have to have access to the area. So what are your power sources? Well, your power sources uh, in the call out pointing to these sources uh, could be a generator, transformer, service, uh, maybe uh, uh, battery banks or something, whatever they need to provide the, uh, the power. And notice you have three that are listed there. Now, if we review the, uh, uh, the uh, call out to the left right underneath the amusement ride, uh, flexible cords or cables with crossovers or protective matting. Uh, 525.20G uh, is in gray there. Now notice the person uh, walking on that matting and uh, walking toward the uh, area to, uh, to, to maybe ride an amusement ride or enter into a tent or somewhere a performance has taken place. Then notice those cords could be routed underneath the matting and uh, tripping hazards, uh, damaging the cord and so forth uh, could be prevented uh, in these walkways where this matting or crossover uh, type material is used. Now, anywhere the cables uh, are accessible to the public, then uh, if they're in, they have to be protected in accordance with uh, 525.20G and then you can uh, see the power source to the right there. Uh, those cables are uh, accessible to the public. So some kind of matting, crossover material, or uh, protection in some manner has to uh, be provided uh, to protect these cords and cables and so forth. Now, let's review the notes next. And the note one is right at the very top of the illustration. And notice flexible cords and cables can be protected with non-conductive covering in walkways, but such matting must be secured to the walkway surface uh, as outlined in 525.20D or G, excuse me, uh, to prevent uh, someone uh, from uh, uh, having a hazardous condition due to the matting. Now, if we look at the uh, note uh, two that's at the left-hand side of the illustration down toward the bottom, then notice it states where the cable is buried, C300.5, that deals with the different burial depths for a particular wiring method. Uh, that's outlined in 525.20G, that particular uh, requirement. And to kind of wrap this one up now, let's look at the note three that's right underneath the tent that uh, certain performances might be uh, going on inside that tent area. It says protection methods shall not create a tripping hazard. So whatever we have uh, to protect those cords laying over the top of them, they can't become a tripping hazard to people gaining access to the location where the tent, 
uh, the circus, the carnivals, and different uh, things are present. So uh, that that's the importance now of this NEC 525.20G.